And in the wake of the truce deal for eastern Ukraine, the EU has readied a package of fresh sanctions against Moscow, but it stopped short of putting it in place. And the bloc's leaders decided to wait until after the weekend before rolling out the new restrictions. And more on the new punishment waiting for Russia with RT's Peter Oliver. Well, despite the ceasefire, what we're hearing coming out of Brussels is that further sanctions will be imposed upon Russia. Now, we'll find out exactly what the sanctions contain um, at the beginning of next week, either Monday or Tuesday. Now, what we expect that they will hear, and from talking to the people that uh, I know in Brussels right now, we're hearing that they'll take the form of things like an extension of the blacklist of um, Russian officials and also those from the Donbass area who will have of um, asset freezes and travel bans imposed upon them. There's also going to be a targeting of the oil and defence industries in Russia, as well as Russian business being targeted, particularly. Now, what we could see is that uh, European banks that loan money to Russian businesses could see those Russian businesses have their, um, their shortening period of the credit that's available cut from 90 days, as it stands at the moment, down to 30. Well, what we are, have seen though over the course of these sanctions that have been imposed by the European Union by America and then in turn by Russia against um, Europe and other countries in terms of a food ban that it is going to have a knock-on effect for the European economy what we have seen is a lot of farmers particularly fruit and vegetable producers here in Europe suffering because of the sanctions that have been imposed um, and it looks like if these go through then we're going to see a further continuation of that type of suffering and as the effect of the sanctions imposed by Europe come back to bite Europeans here 